Well, our next guests uh, look like a classical music group, but sound quite different. And they Grammy winners. Yes, they are called the Turtle Island Quartet, and they're a string quartet known for fusing classical sounds with contemporary music. They have a new album out here to perform. Moments notice, ladies and gentlemen, Turtle Island Quartet. <laughs> Their latest CD is called A Love Supreme, The Legacy of John Coltrane. Grammy Award winners for Classical Crossover. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for yeah, being please. here. Have a seat, please. Take a seat. Welcome. You guys are the founding members of the group. We are. We're the founders. So what were you thinking in the very beginning? <laughs> 
What were we thinking? I, I was what thinking. Thinking? I was thinking that David was insane because he came up to me <laughs> one day and said, "I've got this idea for a jazz string quartet where everyone would have to be classically trained and be jazz improvisers and and ultimately composers." David's uh, the composer of the group for, for the most part, but we've all ended up being composers as well, writing for a string quartet. Of course. And so, how do classically trained musicians uh, like your music? I mean, do they? How do they, li uh, how like, do they it? like it? Because well, you know, there's a there's well, a tendency to be this is the way it should be done. Exactly. Uh, well, the, the truth is, is that classically trained musicians are very attracted to what we're doing. Yeah. They see that we're classically trained. Yeah. And we're okay. not violating the rules of the string quartet. Got we're it. We're coming from inside the tradition and exploring out from that. And so they, they they get that we respect the form, and also we can do something they can't do. Right. Improvise. So they improvise. So how exactly. do you make, so go, how how do you do make that? How do you make that transition? Because That's, as classically trained, you play this note at right. this particular time. Like when you're reading classical music, you know, you, your whole approach to making music is that you see the notes in, on the page, they communicate through your eyes. Yes. It's like reading a script or a speech, you know. Improvising is more it's in your head and you're playing and it's something you study, but you study it a different way. You, you learn how to play jazz by spending the same amount of time and energy and, and dedication, but more on, on studying different parts of musical rules like chords and mm -hmm. melodies and how to make your own. And then you get your own voice. That's what's so great about an improvising musician. And yeah. people will get to hear that voice yes. tonight at Longwood, Longwood Gardens, Gardens live. How exciting. I know you guys are going to love it out there. Thank you so much for making us your first stop today. Tonight oh, at 7.30, the show, that cost $50 to $55, the Turtle Island Quartet. Wow. Grammy Award winning group. Thank you guys so much for being here. And thanks Thank for you. that great introduction at the beginning of the show as well. Oh, my Good God. job, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we'll be right back with more of the 10 show.